about these daily sprint, we're talking about interesting our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today we're talking about one of the most rewarding things that you can do to grow your business and grow your life, grow your five Fs, finances, faith, fitness, family, fulfillment, fun. I think that was six. Uh, and our brains are actually built to need this, which is awfully odd because this is the thing that we get away from the most when we get into states of depression or things aren't going well. So we tend to gravitate away from what I'm gonna to talk to you about, but it's the one thing that we need the most. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about groups, community groups. Uh, right now we're getting ready at our church to start our small group season. So that's 12 to 16 people who are gonna to get together, idea share, and be growth driven together. So I was like, okay, cool. This must just be more like, uh, maybe like a, a, a religious thing or like a Christian thing. But then I started to read some James Clear about the power of groups in forming habits. And it was crazy because I was just unpacking the other day and I came across all the books that I had read and one of them was Robert Kawasaki's Unfair Advantage. Great book, really, really good book, very eye-opening. And I had some pages marked off and I went to one of the ones that was marked off and I couldn't believe what I read, it said, this is why most entrepreneurs failed to build a business. They are lone rangers or lone wolves working by themselves or with fewer people. And I'm like, wow. And I started to look in our own business development program that when, any, when anyone, someone like isn't showing up or they're not tribing up and I kind of reach out, it's a lot of times the same story. They're going through something in life. And that's when they need the group the most, the support. I cannot tell you that. James Clear says it best, that if you wanna develop a new positive habit, you get around groups of people where that desired habit or that desired behavior is the norm. So think about that. If you wanna level up your finances and you're in a, a business development group and that's what everybody's trying to do and some people are doing it not quite at your level and you're bringing them up but some people are doing it at like a 10 times higher level than you and you're like, wow, that's great. And some people are doing it right at your level or maybe right above so you're like, I can do that. That's going to level up your life. But what happens is when your business, you know, you're in a, a slump, I'm in a slump right now. <laughs> I'm in a slump right now. And the last thing that I want to do is go and show up to the business development group, but that's the number one thing I need to do. That's what's going to get you out of your slump. But again, it's the exact same thing that we typically do with the opposite. So show up to groups where your desired behavior is the norm and it's going to change your, your game. You're not gonna get into it as deep as slumps. Your slumps that you do have won't be for as long and you will steadily grow your mindset, grow your business and grow your five Fs. I'd love to know what groups are you a member of that are leveling you up today? Let me know in the comments.